Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio. This is the beginning of an intro to Pro Builder in Unity series. So in this particular tutorial, so I'm gonna introduce some of the basics of the different types of shape tools in Pro Builder. If you're ready to get started, let's go. So here we are in Unity, and if you don't have Pro Builder installed, you can go into the package manager, you can type in Pro in the search, Pro Builder will be one of the options. Now you might have a lower level version and if you do, you can always click the drop down there to see the other versions, other versions that are available to you. I currently have 5.03.3 installed, and there we go. Now, with that installed, you can open up the Pro Builder window. Now, currently, I have this docked with my project window over here on the left hand side. So, in this brief introductory of what Pro Builder is, this is a tool that allows me to create 3D objects right in the Unity editor. And it's a great tool for creating low poly. Now, is it the end all modeling tool? Probably not. But if you're doing low poly and you want to create right in the editor, this is a great option. So by default, the view of the ProBuilder UI is text-based. So it tells you what each of these options are. So if you want to use icons instead of the text, you can always click on the little options three dot icon there and use icon mode. So, so it gives you an option on how you want to view the interface. Now, I personally like to see the text mode just because it allows me to more easily read what's there and understand what's there, but it, it gives you some options. So let's go over just a few of these tools briefly. So there's new shape. You can see that I click and a new window pops up. This is a dialog box that allows me to create the different types of predefined shapes that are part of ProBuilder. So an arch, cone, so on and so forth. I would recommend that you go and you play with these quite a bit. And with each of these, there are different options at the bottom. So if I use this tool, when I click and drag in my window, I'm creating the beginning point and end point for an X and a Z value. And then if I let go and then I drag up, you can see that I now create some height for that shape. Now, there's a lot of different options, again, that are in the Create Shape window that allow me to change the, the aspects of that particular shape. So currently, you can see thickness, how thick that arch is, how many sides there are. So if I want to make this more smooth or some other kind of shape, uh, what the circumference is. So it allows you to definitely play with creating all kinds of different cool options that are there. Let's make that back to 180. And then if it has end caps or not, and if it's smoothed, okay? So we've got different options for each of the different shapes. Now you can always go and uh, specifically input the dimensions that you want here. So as opposed to six units, 6.75 units, let's just say we want that to be six. And let's say we want the Z to be only one and the height to maybe only be 2.5, right? So you can change what those are. Once you're done with that, you can just go back to any of your other tools and your shape is there. So that's one way for you to create a shape. Uh, another way for you to create a shape is to right click within your hierarchy window and you'll see that you'll have a Pro Builder uh, drop down, and you can see that you have any of those shapes again now with this, you don't have the settings option uh, available to you, but you can always go and drag out any of these shapes and change them here as well, okay? So that's another way of creating shapes. The other types of shapes are a Bezier shape. So let's create a new Bezier shape. And you can see that uh, a Bezier curve is created with a mesh that goes around it so you can change uh, in the Bezier shape script, you can change uh, how many rows and columns there are. So let's say we want there to be less uh, rows. So let's maybe go to four instead of eight. So you can see how that changes that shape. And columns, that's the number of kind of rings that are around this. Let's say we want that to be down to four as well. So you can see how that changes that shape and then I can change what the radius is. So this is a half of a unit 
from the center of that shape to the edge of the mesh. So if we want it to be thicker, we can just drag this out and you can see how that increases that shape or if I want it to be thinner, how that changes that shape. So you've got options for doing that here as well. Okay, the other option for creating a new shape is the poly shape. Now this is kind of nice if you want to create different uh, shapes of rooms. So let's change our view to be top down and I'm just going to click and drag out let's say what a room might be with a hallway and I'm not getting this very straight I should be using my pro grid option here so I can snap to specific points but this kind of gets you the point of where you need to be and you'll see that this is a flat shape now I uh, have the option here with my poly shape tool of extruding this to add some height so let's say we want a, a room to be three meters tall and you can see what that looks like of course we're seeing the outside of the room but let's say we want to flip the normals to be so that we're inside that shape so I'm gonna flip my normals here and now you can see that you can uh, create the inside of a room so really great options for rapidly creating some spaces that you can have your character move within within a game. And these are the three main tools that you're going to use to start creating shapes within Pro Builder. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And in this series, I'm going to continue showing the different aspects of Pro Builder so you can use this in your Unity development. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.